Which verse? Okay, read 171 for me. Which verse? I just said 171. <laughs> Chapter 4, verse yeah. 171. Okay, one second, one second, one second. All right, I'm giving you more than one second. One, one thousand, two, two thousand, three, three thousand, four, three. Yeah, okay, so people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah and his word, which he directed to Mary and a soul from him. Now, so correct, the, Allah, correct, do me a favor, correct that mistranslation of the Arabic. You read the Arabic, it doesn't say soul. What does it literally say? I'll correct the Sahih. English, I was reading the English translation. You want me to read the Arabic? No, but hold on. You're reading Sahih International, right? Uh, okay. I skipped the parentheses. No, yeah, but correct, it doesn't say soul. If you know Arabic, you know this word soul is nafs, it, and it doesn't say soul. Let me read the Arabic. Yes. Go ahead, please. If it's, okay, now translate that literally for me. A spirit from him. Okay, thank you. Read it one more time slowly because you have people listening who don't know Arabic. I want you to confirm that what you just read in Sahih International did not translate the Arabic correctly. It doesn't say nafs. It says ruh. So it says, Jesus is karimatuhu al-qaha illa maryam, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. al-qaha illa maryam. Okay, and then it says, wa ruhin minhu, right? Wa karimatuhu. Al-Qaha illa Maryam wa ruhin minhu. Translate that literally. And his word delivered to Maryam. Delivered? What does Al-Qaha mean? Al-Qaha means like delivered or casted. Or so see, that's the part I see. Now I'm loving you because you're being honest. Cast. What? Cast, right? That's the same. This is a synonym. Okay. Friend, you understand delivered why. You, you can't, friend, if, you, if you stop arguing and just, just translate cast, you'll see why it's not a synonym because words are defined in okay. context. Okay. Yeah, cast is good. Okay, I'm cast down to Miriam, right? Cast down to Miriam, a spirit from him, right? Cast towards Miriam. And a spirit from him, right? Yeah, a spirit okay. from him. Okay, here's my question, friend. Please answer the question. Please, please, my friend. I'm really trying to help you. And I don't want to yes. I don't want to put you on the spot because you're a young guy. But, man, when people tap dance and don't answer, it bothers me. So, please, try to answer honestly. When it says his word, which he cast down from Mary and a spirit from him, please convince me that Jesus wasn't already existing with Allah before he came down to Mary as a spirit, because that's what the text just said. How did you find that within the okay, text? What does Ruch and Minhu mean? Does it mean spirit from who? Spirit from him. Who's him? Allah. Okay, so he's a spirit from Allah, and then you just said his word which he cast down to Mary. If I cast something down, that means it has to be up, right? right? It doesn't necessarily have to be. It has to be from one point yes, to another. Yes, it has to be because it says cast down, which is why it says a spirit from him. So he came down. He was cast down from Allah as a spirit that entered Mary to become flesh. It's right there in front of you. If I bring a blind man, he's going to see it. So what are, you, what are you trying to say here? I'm not saying anything about what your verse just said. Your verse just said... Jesus was there as a spirit with Allah as his word, and then he came down to Mary. So now, how in the world are you going to convince me that Jesus is just a man? He, he is just a man. Okay, so what, so when wait, when what was he when he was with Allah? And he's, when he, when, what was he when, when he was with Allah before it, he came to Mary? It says he is the word Allah. They just said, Kalimatuhu, his word, Allah's word. Sorry, your voice is cracking. He, 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 right? Yeah, Allah's word. He's Allah's, Allah's okay. word. Okay, so what was he before he said, came down? Yeah. What Sorry, was he, voice what is was he yeah. before he came down? The word of Allah. He's still the word of Allah. So what was he? It, it, it's right there. It's telling you, friend. It's right there. A spirit. What do you want me to do? So how can you convince yes. me? Convince me he's just a man when you just said... He was there with Allah as his word, as a spirit. So before he became man, he was already existing as a spirit with Allah because he was his word. So now convince me he's just a man. What you just read from your own Quran, that that's all he is. So, so okay, it seems that when it says, you think that means that he was existing with Allah? I don't need to think that. You just, do we need to go through this again? I don't need to think that. The text says... Karimatuhu al -qaha. Do you understand why I said translate al -qaha? That came down, yeah. and he came down as a spirit from him. That's the text. It's right there. So the angels gave the word to Maryam that... Show me where the angels gonna... gave the word to Maryam, meaning Jesus. That the word they gave to Maryam was Jesus. They announced to Mary she's going to give yeah, birth to the word. That's not what so the text says. It says Jesus is say, the word that came down. When we say he is a spirit... From Allah or the word of Allah, we say the word of Allah because he's, the, he's Allah said, Kun for your Kun. Are you sure you want to go there? I want to make you think about it before you go there. You sure you want to use that argument? So I'm being nice. Okay, wait, let me go, let me go to the spirit part right now. Yeah. So when, when he is specifically called the spirit from Allah, 
This is like how we understand the house of Allah, the camel of Allah. He is a special Can spirit. Can you stop Allah. parroting the Salafi arguments? Because I want to demolish those arguments. I've heard your arguments. I, I've heard your arguments. Come on. Okay. okay. No, it's not like Beit Allah. That's not like, it's like Rahma. It's like <clears throat> Rahman, Rahim. It's like Ruh Allah. So you're comparing two different categories as if they're the same. Yes, I've heard the argument. It's like the camel of Allah or the house of Allah. No, it's not like that. It's like the Rahmah of Allah. It's like the word of Allah. It's not like something created that belongs to Allah. It's one of the characteristics of Allah himself. Guy, I've heard your arguments. Please don't repeat arguments. I've already heard, been there, done that. So I'm going to ask you the question now. You just said that the reason why Jesus is God's word because he was created by the command of Allah, kun fayakun. You just said that, right? Yes. Okay. You sure you want to use that argument? Because I'm telling you, I've heard your arguments. I've heard your Muslim scholars. I wasn't born yesterday. I was born the day before. So I have an advantage. But anyway, you sure you want to use that argument? So I'm going to give you a minute to think about how bad of an argument that is. Yes, this is what the understanding of it is. Okay. Now, isn't it true that in chapter 3, verse 59 of the Quran, where Allah likens Jesus to Adam, that Allah said to Adam, kun fayakun, be, and he was. So he yeah. said that to Adam, right? Yeah. Okay, now so I'm going to challenge you. He's also... I'm going to challenge you. Just quote a single verse in your Quran or Hadith where Adam is called the word of Allah. There is none. Okay, but wait, your logic. Let me play your logic. You said Jesus mm -hmm. is the word of Allah because he was created by Allah's word. That means Adam should be called the word of Allah because he was created by Allah's word, but still he's not called the word of yeah. Allah. So because that's not the yeah. meaning. That's not the meaning. Okay, so you want it to be specifically said with everyone. That no, I'm trying to use your word. arguments. They don't change your argument. Your argument was, yeah. let me repeat your argument. See, again, you're not even listening to your own argument. Okay, your I'm, argument I'm was, argument. can I, I repeat heard. your argument? No. So everyone got how you just set yourself up. Your argument was, Jesus is God's word because Allah created him by his command. Kun fayakun. Well, hold on. Adam was yes. created by Allah's command. Kun fayakun, and he's not called the word of Allah. Why not if your argument is right? He is the word of Allah too. It just where? Say it. It you can, no, say no, no, no. You cannot add to the Quran and the Sunnah of your prophet. The only prophet that your own prophet called Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah, which is in the Ahadith, is Jesus. Your prophet never said of anyone else, not even Adam, he's Kalimat Allah or Ruh Allah. He said, Isa ibn Maryam, Kalimat Allah, Ruh Allah. So don't add to your prophet. Okay. Don't add to his the words. Verse, okay, the verse that says he is just like in the Kamathal Isa, Kamathali Adam. That is that verse. No, that actually says backfires against you. No. Similar. That actually backfires against you. You know why? Because in making that argument, Muhammad again showed that he's not a true prophet, because that's one of the worst arguments Muhammad could make. Because if that's true, Muhammad, that Jesus is like Adam and that Adam was made from dust, kun fayakun, then Adam should be the word of Allah and a spirit from him. But wait, Muhammad, you forgot. Adam is not said to be a spirit from him or Allah's word, which he cast down into the dust. So that argument shows Muhammad doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a bad argument because that backfires. You don't understand. I'm telling you, he is also the word of Allah. It just doesn't say. It says in that verse, he's just like. Do not the add that, to the words so of your brutal. prophet. Do not add to the words of your prophet. Your prophet could have said that Adam is Kalimat Allah, Ruh and Min. But I guess he forgot because he was waiting for you to come in the 21st century to help him make that point. Please don't add to the words of your prophet. Unless you can quote your prophet saying, Adam is kalimat Allah, ruh Allah, ruh and min. Don't add to the words of your prophet because your prophet could have said it. He could have simply said, hey, Adam, kalimat Allah. Did he forget okay, or did Allah me, forget? Argument to against you. Let me use this argument against Please, you. Please, I want you to. So since the Quran is called the Quran, it is the criteria and as is by the, which we should the judge. Torah. That means uh, the Torah should also be called this. The Injil should also be called this. The no, Sufi the Ibrahim Torah is called the Quran. My friend, but I don't find it in the Quran. No, 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 no. This. this backfired against you. You didn't hear what I said. The revelation of Moses is called the Furqan. So your argument just imploded oh, in your face. The Bur, Sufi Ibrahim, in no, Jeev, it's called Furqan. Go, I'm going to embarrass you again. Go to chapter 40, verses 52. See, you're not listening. The more you open your mouth, the more I'm going to end up embarrassing you. The word Furqan, you, you, you want me to finish it? The, the word Furqan is used of the revelation of Moses. That's what's, what's, what you just said. Well, that means the Torah should be called. Go to 40. I agree with that. Go to, I agree with that. Right, so are then you, you just show me the argument. The Zabur, the Sufi are you going to talk over? It? No, 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 no. Hey, hey. <laughs> Calm down. Breathe. That backfired against you. You embarrass over? yourself. Reverse. You embarrass yourself. Let me explain why. Because you said, well, the Quran's called Furqan, so the Torah should be in the God. Ah, oh, but the Torah is. Oh, okay. 
I agree the Torah, but now show me the gospel. The fact that something, yeah, can I finish the point? Can I finish the point before you embarrass yourself yeah. further? The yeah. fact yeah. that something other than the Quran is called for Khan proved my point. That means Adam could have also been called the word of Allah. He isn't. So booyah, it busted in your face. No, it did okay. not. You did Let's not repeat this again. Is called. something booyah other than the words. Quran, is something other than the Quran called for Khan? Yes or no? Yes. Is the Torah also called the Furqan, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so then you just made my point. Allah could have also called Adam the word of Allah besides Jesus. He didn't. So it just busted and imploded in your face. You don't see that? No, I okay. understand what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that because there's someone else called the Furqan, something else called the Furqan. That was your argument, man. Dude, you know word. that's your argument? That's your Ever? argument. No, that's your argument. You just said everyone heard you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my no, I understand your argument. You're trying no, to say you're that the one who made the argument. The second word of Allah. No, you. Oh the Quran. man, listen, dude. You made the argument. Let me repeat what you said. You brought up Furqan. I didn't bring up Furqan. You said, "Hey, the Quran is called Furqan." Well, does that mean the Torah and the Gospels of Zabur not called Furqan because it's never used of that? I said, no, it is. It's used of the Torah. So the very argument yeah. you used backfired against you and proved my point. Just like, oh, okay. can I finish the point? Just like okay. the Torah is also called Furqan, not just the Quran. Likewise, Allah could have called Adam the word of Allah like he did Jesus. So the argument you used proved my point and imploded in your face. Aren't you getting it? Oh, it, did, it didn't. You want me to tell you why? This is silly, man. Okay, because Yeah, it is silly. Your arguments are silly. Scripture. I told you all of the scriptures are called the same exact thing, but they're not all called. No, you can't. No, don't add to that. that. No, 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 no. You're not Muhammad. You can't tell me what the scriptures are called unless Muhammad tells you. Stop adding to the words of your prophet. All you can tell me is Torah is Furqan, Quran is Furqan, and that's all. Don't go beyond what your prophet said. So now, don't go beyond what your prophet said. Show me that Adam is the word of Allah and a spirit from him. Show me where in that verse says, because Adam is kun fayakun, that he too is the word of Allah. The very verse you're using actually proves my point again. Show that to me. It doesn't explicitly say he's the word of Allah. Say it again. I don't want to say it again. Wait, wait. We'll say it out loud. So it, doesn't, it doesn't explicitly say he's the word of Allah. Okay. That's what you're asking. Even though in that same chapter that you read, Jesus is explicitly said to be the word of Allah. Because in chapter 3, verse 45, in the very chapter where Jesus is likened to Adam, in that same chapter, Jesus is again called the word of Allah. In chapter 3, verse 45. But in that chapter, Adam is still not called the word of Allah. Wow. Go to chapter 3, read verse 45. And mention when the angel said, O Mary, indeed Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, distinguished in this world and the hereafter and among those brought near to Allah. Okay. Now, when it says kalimat, kalimatin, minhu. Minhu. Okay. okay. Now, you know about Arabic grammar. I think you do because you're reading the Arabic and I'll give you the benefit of benefit that. We know that kalimat is feminine, in, feminine noun, right? That doesn't mean it's a woman. It just means that it's feminine noun, right? Yes. Okay. Now, the, the word for whose name what is it in Arabic? Whose name is? What is that in Arabic? Say it so everyone can hear you. No, the word word says, a word from him, whose name? In Arabic, that phrase, whose name is what? Ismuhu. ismuhu. Okay, Ismuhu, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that feminine or masculine? This is feminine. No, read it again. Ismuhu is not feminine. It's masculine. Oh, sure. I mean, I don't really even okay. know about the whole feminine masculine. Okay. Thing. Now, here's the point. Karimat is feminine. It's a feminine noun. But the word ismuhu is masculine. Why would the grammar of the Arabic change where you have a feminine noun, but the word here is masculine? Because the rules of Arabic grammar means that if it's a feminine noun, then that phrase should have been feminine. But instead, it's masculine. And I'll explain to you why. Because this word is becoming an actual person. The word is a male named Jesus. He is the word. The word is him. That's why it goes from a feminine noun to using the masculine form of his name, showing that the word is an actual person and not simply simply created by God's command. You aware of this? Okay. I don't. I'm not familiar with this topic of feminine, masculine, okay. Arabic. I'm not really familiar. So okay, I'm not that's speak fine. On this. Put it aside. Okay, but let's let's keep it on that point, though, so we don't lose you here. Since in this very chapter, again, Jesus is said to be the word from Allah. In the very chapter where he's likened to Adam, why is it Allah goes out of his way to say Jesus is the word, but still falls short of saying Adam is the word? Why can't he make it explicit? 
because th- this is Allah's truth. We don't know why. This you should know why. Way- you should know why, because the Quran says that because it is a book that explains everything in detail. How come Allah forgot to explain this in detail? This, I mean, when you look at certain prophets, they have certain nicknames given to them specifically for yeah. them that could be applied to my, fr- my brother in so humanity. This is- my brother in humanity. You're making my point. Every prophet may have a unique title and characteristic because he had a unique function. You know, you're making my point. Jesus has unique titles because he's unique and different from these other prophets in this respect. But you're arguing the opposite. You're saying Adam is also the word of Allah and therefore can be called that. But you just made the argument. Each prophet has a unique title. Yes. So now you're making my case. Jesus is uniquely called the word of Allah. No one else, not even Adam. So what point are you trying to make? Okay. So if you look at the whole Quran in general, there's verses that clearly dispute what you're trying to get at. That say he's just a man. He yeah, is a normal you, you human understand? being. Who's just a okay, my friend, you understand. Listen to what I'm saying. You understand that I don't believe the Quran is perfect and that it's full of contradictions. And I'm showing you the problems with your Quran mm-hmm. so that you can see. So, yes, I know the Quran is going to say Jesus is but a servant. But then I'm telling you, how can he but be but a servant when he comes down from Allah as his word and as a spirit? Aren't you getting the point that no, your book this is, is full of your, contradictions? This is what you're adding on to it. You, none of this is said. I, I, I added on to 4171. I added it. 4171 is not in your Quran. That does not say all the stuff you're saying, man. Wait, wait, say hold on. That. So if I say to you, hold on. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go. I say to you, the Quran, kalimatuhu al-qaha illa Muhammad. The Quran is Allah's word cast down to Muhammad. Would you deny the Quran came from Allah from above the seven heavens? It did. Say it again. It did. It did. But that's my point. If I were to use that phrase for the Quran, Quran, kalimatuhu al-qaha illa Muhammad. His word cast down to Muhammad. You say, yes, the Quran came from Allah above the seven heavens. But when that language is used for Jesus, no, it can't mean that. Why the inconsistency? Because you are, you're basically trying to get at that. It's like coming from the clouds. It's coming down to the earth. And like, this is not, Where when it says the Quran come from? someone, it doesn't mean like it's physically on its way. It just means it's, it's here. It's revealed. So you That's mean the Quran, the Quran wasn't you. above the clouds somehow? It was just revealed? So the Quran didn't come from Allah from above the seven? It's not a speech? It's not in the mother of the no, book? It did. It what? It did, but it's oh, okay. necessitate that it has to come from the sky and fall down. The Quran so where did the Quran come from? Where did it come from if it didn't come from Allah above the seven heavens? It was given It was um, given to the angel, Jibreel. And where is Jibreel? Is Jibreel above, above the clouds? Is he above the cloud, Jibreel? Is he in heaven somewhere? Yeah, but he comes to earth. Uh, so, <laughs> so you were back to square one. The Quran does come from above the seven heavens because you have an angel who's within the seven heavens who takes the Quran and brings it down to the earth. So we're back to square one. So where you did Jesus come from? Be destroyed? You know how this argument can be destroyed easily? Please destroy it. There, were some, verses that were, there were some verses where the prophet had a vision or he heard a bell sound mm-hmm. and the angel didn't come. So... Okay, you but you, so you said, said Gabriel. Gabriel. Friend, do you understand you're refuting yourself? You mentioned Gabriel. I didn't mention Gabriel. Why did you mention no, Gabriel? You're saying, you're saying it has to come from the heavens to the no, earth. No, you the said the Quran is from above. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try. Maybe, maybe my English is not too clear. I'll give you the benefit of that. Is the Quran actually with Allah Hello? on a tablet? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Now he can't hear me. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Is the Quran actually with Allah on a tablet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't read too much about those hadiths. I've heard of this, but... Okay, so then I if you... Know. Okay, friend, again, then why are you arguing about points you're not certain of? Because the Islamic view is the Quran is there with Allah on a tablet called Umul Kitab, the mother of the book, and it came down above the seven heavens to the lowest heaven in the month of Ramadan. And from there, Jibreel, alayhi salam, revealed the piecemeal to your prophet over 23 years. I don't want to be teaching your religion, but now let's put that aside. Yeah. Okay, let's put that aside. Forget about it. Since we now agree the Quran is the word of Allah, that's there with Allah above the seven heavens. Since Jesus is the word of Allah, that's said to have come down as a spirit, prove to me he wasn't there before he entered the womb of Mary. Dude, this I just went through this argument with you. Okay, we're getting nowhere. But now, let me further prove to you, Jesus is from Allah, according to your Quran, not from the earth. Is it not true that those who die, if they're from the earth, like Adam from the dust, they go back to the dust, right? Like when your prophet died, they buried him, right? Yeah. Okay. So can you explain to me, if Jesus is from the earth, why is it when it was time for him to leave the earth, he didn't go to the dust, he went to Allah from where he came. If he didn't come from Allah, why did he go back to Allah? Because he didn't die. That didn't answer the question. No, he didn't die. Allah okay, saved even him. That doesn't answer the question. Up. That's a debate whether he didn't die or not. What I'm saying is, why didn't he die? 
And why did he go back to Allah? Why didn't Allah simply have him die and have him return to the dust if he's from the earth? So this is he doesn't Allah doesn't have to do this. Allah can do whatever he wants. He can bring him up. That's a, that's Allah a nice cop out answer. I mean that's a nice cop out answer. I mean that's how we tap dance around issues that we can't answer, but you're not listening. According to your own Quran, the Quran is a book that explains everything in detail. It leaves nothing for guesswork because Allah will explain everything that is mentioned in the Quran in detail. I'll give you the verses to show that. So then if if Allah wanted me to know that Jesus is not from him and that's why he returned to him, then why didn't Allah cause Jesus to die and return him to the dust? Allah gives the answer. Where? In Surah. Allah raised him up to himself. Why? That's to my save question. Him. Why? To save him from the crucifixion. Okay, so but why did God Allah save Jesus from the crucifixion? When you just read an ayah that said the Bani Israel killed many prophets. So why save this prophet from killing him and take him to heaven when other prophets he allowed them to be killed by Bani Israel? Because, because when the Dajjal comes, he's gonna come and kill the anti. What the does that got to he do with what does that got to do with <laughs> Allah allowing prophets to be killed, and yet for some reason he doesn't allow Jesus to be killed because he could allow Jesus to be killed and raise him and send them back alive. Because even in your Quran, don't you have resurrection of dead people, people who died and were raised? Yes. So why didn't Allah simply have Jesus killed like all the other prophets, then raise him to life and send them back at the end to kill the Dajjal, even though that's not in the Quran? So you're not answering questions, you're creating more problems because now you introduced so another you problem. Are you claiming that Allah is, he, he doesn't, there's no way he can let him just live? No, Are you I, trying to say that that's not what, don't change he has argument. to do it one no, way? No, don't change argument. My argument is, if Jesus comes from Allah, then it makes sense he went back to Allah. And what do we find? He went back to Allah because 4171 says that's where he came from. He didn't come from the earth like your prophet or Adam. He came from Allah as a spirit and went back to where he came from. You understand my point now? Look, I understand what you're trying to get at. I think you understand what I'm trying to say now. I don't know what you're trying to say to me. I don't know. You're, you're all over the place. No, no, no. No, I'm telling you, Allah could have done that if Allah wanted to, but he didn't. Are we Are we to question? No, we, we are to meditate and venture into what the Quran says and why it says it to understand the point of the Quran, unless you believe the Quran is a book of mishmash, incoherent babble. Is the Quran okay, meant to but, be understood, okay, or is the Quran a book of misguidance and confusion? Okay, but do you do you understand what I'm getting at when I say that Allah I can perfectly do the way understand what you're saying, and I'm turning it back against you, saying, friend, if the Quran mentions something, that means it's for you to understand what it's saying, why it's saying it, because the Quran says it's a book that explains everything in detail. It explains all things fully and completely. This is the repeated assertion of the Quran. That means if I believe your Quran, I have to believe that when Jesus comes from Allah as a spirit and returns to Allah, that that's going to be a point that I'm supposed to understand and derive some teaching from because the Quran is supposedly a book of guidance, not misguidance, that provides absolute, fully detailed exposition of everything it mentions. Okay, but this is... The argument you used has no relevance to that point. It has a lot to do because it shows Allah, me Jesus is no mere man, that he's the eternal word who became flesh and reigned with the gospel of John. No. Tell me, okay, no. of the you gospels, know, okay, okay. Even, of the gospels in the New Testament, which gospel says Jesus is Lord of God that became flesh? Is that Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? Which of the gospels? Uh, this is a John. And so why is the Quran agreeing with John and saying Jesus is Lord of Allah that came down as a spirit to Mary if John's gospel is wrong? Does it say came down? You just read it, Al-Qaha illa Maryam, for the love of no. God. We just, uh, went, we just admit it, it means literally. cast down. No. Did you you did. understand what I was saying when that it doesn't have to come from the heavens above to the earth. It doesn't always mean that. Okay, friend, I told you it has to mean that because then it says a spirit from him. What else does the Quran need to say to you that he did come down from Allah, which is why it says a spirit, because when he was with Allah, he wasn't physical. He was a spirit that came down from Allah to become physical by entering Mary. I mean, man, it's right there. 4171, oh my goodness. It's right in front of your eyes, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The camel, when it says the camel... Can you show me where it says the camel? Pet. Okay, let's, let's play that game. This. It means let's play your camel. game. Allah created. Yeah, okay, let's play your game. Show me where it says the camel, al-qaha il al-ard. The camel was sent down to the earth. Ruh and min. Show me where the Quran says that about the camel. It just doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Wait, wait, say it again. I want people to hear you. Even though that. camel of Allah. What you want? Well, let, I'm trying to let them understand. It point. Camel of Allah. Because you're saying camel of Allah means it belongs to Allah because he created it. To show that's what it means about Jesus. Okay. Can you show me where the Quran says the camel al-qaha il al-ard. 
the camel was sent down to the earth, Ruh Min, as a spirit from Allah. Can you, it doesn't say that about the camel, right? It doesn't say no, that about, it does not say this. Does it say that about the house of Allah? Does it say Bait Allah al Qaha al al Arab? It was sent down to the earth. No, 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 it's not favorite. But it does say that about Jesus, but still you're no. gonna liken Jesus to the camel and to the house. Okay. I think I think you understand what I'm saying, but you have an agenda and you're you're trying to really push it. You're not really you're, you no, understand my agenda what I'm saying. Is to show you, to... My agenda is to show you your Quran is incoherent. Muhammad is not a prophet, so you turn away from him and come to your only hope of hey, salvation, Jesus Christ, your Lord. Can I ask you a yes, or, yes, some yes or no questions? Can it depends if you're asking questions. sincerely. Well, yes, if you're not asking sincerely, yeah, I it's not the subject. It's not the subject. I'm trying to see if you can follow along with what I'm trying to say. I've been following. Okay, so different. first question. First question: The Quran is sent from Allah to the Prophet Muhammad. Yes or no? That's what you and believe. According I don't, to us, according I mean, yeah, to according us. to you, yes, that's what you believe. Yes. Yes, say yes or no. Yes I just said no. yes. According to your belief, yes, that's what you believe. The Quran. Yes, yes, yes. I'm asking another question now. Go ahead. The Quran is always physically brought from heaven to earth. Yes or no? I don't know what you mean physically. Define physical. Like, like, like the revelation is actually brought from the, the heaven to the earth, like the angel coming in between. Always, so, always. Because when yes you say no. physical, because I know the Quran is in a tablet, that tablet didn't come down. Are you saying that what is in the tablet was recited, no. recited to, let's say, Jibreel, like, and he brought down the recitation? Yeah, and brought down to earth. Was yeah. it always like that? Was it always brought down with the angel Jibreel in the middle? Was it always, no, no, who yes said no. always? No, not at all. The Quran says at times it was the Holy Spirit that brought it to the prophet. Perfect. No, no, answer the question. I was did. the Quran always brought from the heavens to earth with the angels in the middle? I, did you hear my yes answer? Or are you pretending that you're not listening? Did you hear what you I just said? said? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Your voice is cracking. Your voice is cracking right now. Okay, well, sorry, yeah. just snap, say it again. snap, crackle, and pop. Oh, the Quran says it wasn't always Gabriel. Sometimes it was the Holy Spirit. So it wasn't always brought from the heavens to the earth? I didn't say, yes no, 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 no. That's not what you asked me. So you changed the question. You said, was it always brought down by I Gabriel? from heaven to earth. No, not always Gabriel, but it did come down from heaven, but not always through Gabriel. So when the prophet had a vision and he'd hear a sound of a bell in his head, mm -hmm. and then he'd get the revelation that way, was that being brought from the heavens to the yes, earth? Yes, it was brought to, from the heaven into his mind, projected into his mind from heaven. Where do you think the vision came from? What? So, so by that logic, the word doesn't always come down from heavens to the yes, earth in the way you were first saying. Yes. It can come in a different way, just as that revelation came in I, a vision. Are you hearing my answer or you're pretending to hear my answer? No, I heard your answer. Okay. You said- Let me repeat it again. Said, um, Even when it comes to, a, and to Muhammad in a vision, it's still coming from Allah, from above the heavens, down to Muhammad in a vision. It's still coming down. But unless you think that Jesus came down to Mary in a vision, how is that parallel to Mary? Did oh, Jesus actually come down? It doesn't have to do with the vision. It doesn't have to do with the vision. So did Jesus it come down? Was he a spirit that came down or yes or no? Because even your argument with the Quran, you're proving my point. Just like the Quran did come down. It came down either through the agency of the Holy Spirit or Gabriel, or it came down and entered Muhammad's mind as a vision or a dream. It still came down. So did Jesus actually come down as no, a spirit? It doesn't mean it physically comes be down careful what you say. It just Listen. means Allah lets him have a vision. Be, right. be careful what you earth. say. Be careful what you say because you know there are Muslims who are going to hear you. They're going to be upset with you. See, we Christians, we don't kill people for speaking stupidly or blasphemously. We leave that to God. Be careful what you say about the Quran because you already said some stuff that if a Muslim hears you, he's going to be upset with you when you said that Muhammad didn't know what he's talking about all the time when it came to the Torah. When you have Muslims who quote the Hadith that says nothing but inspiration comes from his mouth. Think twice before you say something and i'm saying this for your own safety because you have muslims who are going to flip on you and are going to harm you we don't do that jesus doesn't tell us to kill people who insult him or the apostles that's your religion be careful okay. how you express your faith i'm saying this out of concern for you